Welcome back to Storytime with Sugar. Today we're reading Jubella. Baby Rhino played. He tossed and turned, squiggled and squirmed in the cooling mud. His mother, huge head hung low, grazed nearby to protect her baby. Just before sunlight surrendered to darkness, mother scraped the dry mud from baby's body with her great horn. Baby sighed with pleasure. In the African night, mother and baby slept side by side. Sudden loud burst ripped the night silence. Mother's body jolted, then she lurched to her feet. She nudged baby hard with her great horn, then ran. They crashed past bushes and scrubby trees, ant hills and jagged boulders. Baby tried to stay at mother's side, but it was difficult. His short knit legs had never run so far or so fast. Finally, mother stopped running. Her breathing ragged and troubled filled the air. With a loud crash, she collapsed. Baby dropped beside her. Exhausted, he slept. The hot morning sun woke Baby. Silence greeted him. His mother lay beside him, but she was oh so quiet. He nudged her great head with his square nose, but nothing happened. He made little noises in her ear, but still nothing happened. Something was very wrong. As the sun rose in the sky, the temperature rose on the land. Heat waves danced and still mother did not move into the shade. Baby knew at last that mother would never move again. Late afternoon found baby Rhino very hot and very hungry. He had no milk to drink and was too scared to move into the shade alone. He lay beside mother's silent, still body, completely confused. When the African sun slipped from sight, coolness followed. In the darkness, never so big or so black before, Baby listened to the clicking quills of a passing porcupine. He was very hungry and very thirsty when he finally fell asleep. Passing elephants, their long, heavy trucks sweeping the earth, brought the sunrise. Not one looked Baby's way as they passed. Alone and afraid, the baby stayed at his mother's side through another long, hot African day. Sunset and the scent of danger arrived together. Baby Rhino rose, poised to run, as the smell of man grew, anger and terror filled Baby. With a last look at his dead mother, Baby ran for the densest bush. His clumsy feet kicked stones aside as he thrashed through the thicket. Finally, he stopped, far from the scent of man. Exhausted, he slept. Pounding hooves woke Baby. A herd of zebra running and jumping, kicking their legs high, enjoyed the cool of early morning. Baby Rhino struggled to his feet. Slowly he followed, for it was better than being alone. Head down, he trudged, falling far behind the frolicking herd. When even the dust of the zebras disappeared, Baby collapsed in the shade of a tall termite hill. He had just about given up. Lizards scurried, impalas grazed, and baby watched, tired, hungry, and oh so thirsty. As the day cooled toward evening, a new scent floated on the air. Quickly, he lifted his heavy head, smelling the breeze. Something was coming, something that smelled familiar, something that smelled just like mother. Baby jumped up as a large old rhino emerged from the bush. Huge head hung low, she scoured the earth for grasses to pull and plants to eat. Her head snapped up when she smelled baby's scent. She snorted loudly. Baby moved toward her, but she moved her heavy head back and forth. Quickly, baby dropped to the ground. The old mother rhino walked a wide circle around baby. She sniffed and snorted, then changed directions, walking another circle closer this time. Baby remained oh so still his head resting on the hot ground, frightened and hopeful at once. With a rub of her wide nose, she touched the young rhino. He jumped to his feet, starving. He tried to nurse, but she bumped him hard with her side. With little strength and no choice, he followed her as she wandered toward the setting sun. They walked with a far distance between them, for baby was tired and weak. Old mother rhino looked back and knew. She slowed her pace. She stopped at a patch of green grass in the shade of an old thorn tree. She nibbled, snuffling loudly through her nose as her teeth tore grass from the ground. She grazed toward Baby. 
She nudged his nose with her great horn. Baby dropped his head and watched closely. It did not take long for him to follow. He sniffed the grass, then with his mouth he pulled some up. Slowly he chewed. More slowly he swallowed. It tasted harsh, nothing like mother's milk, but its juices flowed down his parched throat. The night passed quickly. Old Mother Rhino's breathing filled the darkness, and her huge body nestled so close, provided warmth for the little rhino. He slept, knowing tomorrow he would drink, eat, and drink again and live. As days passed into months and months into a year, baby rhino grew bigger and stronger. Old Mother Rhino taught him how to find water and food. He already knew, always run from the sin of man, his only enemy. Once again, baby rhino played. He tossed and turned, squiggled and squirmed in the cooling mud, and old mother rhino, her head hung low, grazed nearby to protect her adopted son.